Hey, buddy. Anybody sitting here? Um, no. Go right ahead. Thanks. Hey, I like the diaper. Well, thank you. I enjoy wearing it. Of course you do. That's why you're here, right? Yeah, that's why we're all here. It's not the adult baby diaper haters club, that's for sure. ABDH. That doesn't even make any sense. No, I'm quite fond of the diaper, and I just thought I'd see what the club was all about. Well, let me be the first to welcome you. Name's Randy, but most of the folks here, they call me Big Goo Goo. Yeah, I run a produce distributor in the Tri-Cities. Been a member for three years now. Love it. Love the diapers. I've been proud to wear this cloth warhorse here off and on for, gosh, ten months? I can't believe it's almost been a year. Mm, yeah. it's, it's a very nice diaper. Had to make the switch. The Depends bill was starting to stack up. And my kid's looking at colleges and didn't do so shabby on the SATs if you get my drift. Well, his mother told me. I'm, I'm discouraged from interacting with the boy. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Oh, pardon me, I'm just going to... Take a quick dump here. You're, you're what? Wait, no, I don't... Hang on a sec. Oh, oh! there we go. Uh, what were you saying? You just pooed in your diaper? Like I said, the Depends bill was getting kind of unruly with this level of action. Take one of these cloth bad boys home, though, put her through the spin cycle, get a new clothes pin or two, depending on how high the tide rose, and voila! Good as new. Uh, wait, you're... Oh, I should have known. You're not into... Defecating in my diaper. No. I see. Well, I've met people like you before. I totally understand. You're worried you can't do it without being obvious. Mm, that's not my problem. I had the same concern. And you know what? It's justified at first. I still remember the first time I tried it in public. I'm not really concerned about how... It we... was on the subway. I thought I was being discreet. I really did. But then the lady starts screaming. Evidently, I sometimes do this thing where my eyes roll back into my head and they, they stay there. Just locked, pointing toward the top of my skull for 30 or 45 seconds. Then I start drooling, which really came as a surprise to me. It sometimes takes an outsider to point out these things that you've been dealing with all your life. That's not why I don't want to poop in my diaper. Ah, uh, you're not a fan of the cleanup then. Uh, again, it's a worry I've shared. Two recommendations for you there. One, K&L Cleaners on Palm Street. A lot of these cleaners... They'll snicker at you or ban you for life when you come to pick up your diapers. K&L, they don't ask any questions. It's cash only. They don't even take down any names. $3 per diaper. You don't have to say a word. They've even got one of those punch cards like at the sub shop. So every 10th diaper's free. If you're like me, that's saving you 3 bucks every week. Honestly, Randy, I, I appreciate the advice. Second, carry dog treats. You're like a dog nose magnet when you're walking around with a full tank, so to speak. But you carry two, three dozen dog treats. You can distract them while you shuffle away. Cleaning up after I defecate in my diaper is also not what's standing in my way. Huh. Don't offer me a guy who ain't concerned about being too obvious about it or the whole cleanup factor. I don't enjoy it. In fact, I find it disgusting. I'm not some twisted deviant. Uh, I'm just a grown man who enjoys wearing a diaper and being treated like a baby. Hey, take her easy there. Well, pal. it's repellent. You're just sitting there awash in your own feces. An able-bodied human living in a modern community, it's just... Ahem. <clears throat> if I could have everyone's attention, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Jeez, not a moment too soon. I see we have some new members here. May I be the first to welcome you to the ABDL club? Already beat you to it, Sheila. Oh, God. Welcome back, Randy. I see you discovered our new location. I feel home, Sheila. I feel right at home. Well, let's get started with our discussion. Maybe our new members will find it helpful to discuss some ABDL activities so that they know what kinds of things other members are into. Now, we all know that there are many things that ABDLs would like to do but cannot. Any examples of some of these things out there that you've encountered? Well, we... Can't wear our diapers to our children's school plays if they've asked us not to, because we have to learn to respect their wishes. Excellent. Learning the boundaries of what other people are comfortable with, especially our family, is very important. Any other examples of what we can't do? Uh, we can't poo our diaper while we're standing in line at the grocery store. No. No, as a member of a functional society, that's certainly something that we shouldn't do. Any other examples? 
Well, we can't wear our diapers to places where it might interfere with someone's religious beliefs. That's correct. A lot of places of worship have a more formal dress code, and it is important to respect these practices while we're guests in their holy places. Oh, we can't run out onto the field during a baseball game in our diaper and poo ourselves. No. Trespassing onto the field would violate the law even if you weren't intending on soiling yourself at some point. But look, I don't want to get hung up on what we can't do, because as we all know, there is an extensive list of practices that us ABDLs might actually engage in. Anyone have any ideas for some activities? Well, you can wear your diaper while you tidy up around the house. Excellent. Bringing diaper play into your daily routine is an excellent way to make a chore more fun. Mm, uh, you can poop in your diaper on the drive home from K&L Cleaners, then turn around and just drop your diaper back off. The best part is, they'll still guarantee that it's ready for pickup with the first batch you dropped off. You... really? How... how... How often have you ever had to do that? Uh, th there's been a couple times when I've driven there, dropped off some diapers, gotten the tenth punch on my punch card, then on the way home, just get that feeling and figure, hey, what the hell, this one's on the house. They're lucky to have such a loyal customer. Anything else? Well, I've discovered that Netflix carries some instructional DVDs about yoga. Since you're watching them in the privacy of your own home, you can... Get some exercise while wearing your diaper. Great. I've got another one, too. Uh, this one may be sort of a gray area, but I've found that if you monitor your neighbor's schedules for a couple of weeks, you can get a pretty good sense of when they leave for work every morning. And once you've figured that out, you can break into their house and poop in your diaper in there. No. Randy, this is ridiculous. What? You are derailing our meaning. Can't you see that nobody else is interested in pooping in their diaper? Oh, so I'm the outcast, am I? You're all so high and mighty. ABDLs used to be about acceptance, man. Acceptance and defecating in your diaper. Well, I've had it. I'm used to getting looks on the outside when I'm pooping in my diaper in public, but not from you guys. I'm sorry you feel that way, Randy. But we're going to have to ask you to go. Oh, I'll go, all right. Just give me a second. Three... <clears throat> Two...